Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today is Sunday, which means we are in the kitchen making a new recipe video for you guys. We are making our stuffed pepper soup. This recipe is perfect for the cold months that are here in Pittsburgh now. And I just love it because it's comforting. It's easy to whip together. It freezes great. And again, it's delicious. So it's better than that. So you can head down below to see the whole recipe written out. I put it right in the show notes for you with grams. I also have a link to our website where you can print out the PDF and have it. I don't put any ads or any like lifelong stories on our website. It's literally the photos of the recipe and then the recipe for you guys. So really simple and easy, the link's down below. So you don't have to take notes, but I'm gonna walk you guys through it, it's so simple. So we're gonna get everything started. You just need a soup pot, it doesn't even have to be a large soup pot. This recipe serves around six to eight people, I would say. Um, it's delicious, it's filling, it's wonderful. I can't say enough good things about it. So get your soup pot ready. We are gonna add in all of our liquids first. So there is four cups of vegetable broth that we're gonna add. This is a no salt vegetable broth. We have a video on how to make your own really easy. We're just gonna add that to our pot. Okay, it doesn't really get harder than that, which is awesome. Um, I also have some strained tomatoes. So these are tomato pureed. It's just the tomatoes blended up. So in here we have a 24 ounce jar you also could just make your own by blending the tomatoes. For me personally, you know, you could use two cans of diced tomatoes and that would be fine, the amounts for it. But my husband is really particular with how many chopped tomatoes are in recipes. So there's a reason behind doing it this way, but um, go ahead and get your, your pureed strained tomatoes in here. It's really nice because you can just buy the jar Super easy. Again, this is a quick recipe. If you don't like to cook, this recipe is for you because it takes like seconds to whip together. And then I also have a can of diced tomatoes, no salt added. You can get fire roasted or regular, whatever you prefer. Really simple and easy. The whole thing goes in. That's the majority of the liquid for this. It's all the liquid for this. So now we're just gonna add in the rest of it, which again, this is the hardest part, is just chopping everything. This is four large peppers that I've chopped. I like to get multicolored. It makes it pretty and beautiful, so I've just chopped them up. I do like them kind of chopped small. That way they go in really well. So carefully add that to your pot. Really simple and delicious and easy. This recipe is gonna make just enough to like fill my pot to the brim, but that's fine. That's what I'm looking for anyway. You can use a large stock pot or I would say a medium one. And then I also have one medium onion that I've chopped. Really easy, again, chopping is the hardest part. Super simple, and you can use any onion you like. I have a purple onion here. And then I have an eight ounce block of tempeh. So tempeh is fantastic for stuffed peppers because it does, I think personally, it resembles the texture of ground beef the best. Um, if you don't wanna use tempeh, which we love tempeh here, um, you also could use like a, like a can of lentils or beans, and that's fine as well. Um, you also could just leave it out, but it does, I feel like, to be traditional stuffed pepper soup, you need something to replace that um, meat that you were gonna put in there, and so tempeh is just a fantastic option. So again, I just take a block of plain tempeh, and what I do with, with clean hands is you just kind of take your hands and just crumble it to be the, um, the beef replacement. So really, really simple. Okay, I changed out my pot. The last pot I used was like way too full. Um, I haven't made this recipe since we moved from the last house and we did upgrades to cookware, so I don't know what I was thinking. Make sure you get a pretty large pot. It makes a really decent amount for six to eight people. All right, so I have everything in here. I'm going to continue to take my block of tempeh. And again, I'm just kind of using my hands just to kind of ground up. 
but really simple and easy. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna add our spices and our miso, and we're gonna cook this until the peppers are soft. That's usually the test for how I know it's done. It cooks really easy. I just cook it on medium heat, and this guy probably takes around 20 minutes, again, just till the peppers are soft, but it's perfect. So the seasonings are poultry and parsley seasonings. Go in dried parsley, and then I do have a little bit of white miso as our salt substitute, which again brings some flavor to this recipe. And we're just gonna stir everything up. And with the poultry and dried parsley, it smells amazing. And it's just such a hearty soup. You can freeze this, you can make it for the week. One way that we kind of make this a complete meal is after it's done cooked, I will add in whatever kind of cooked grain I like. So we'll add some farro, we'll add some I have black rice um, today that I'm gonna add. We've done it with quinoa. So I usually will add it with some kind of you know starch as well. That really, really helps to keep me full and um, again, just kind of adds, adds it. So I usually keep it like this and then we just add our cooked grains. I like to kind of measure out my cooked grains when I have a serving. So I'll just measure that out and add it. And then my husband can add however much he wants to his and this is great but I hope you guys will give this a try. So I'm gonna go move this over to the stove. I'm going to cook it again for 20 minutes on medium heat, just until the peppers are soft and it's done and I will show you guys what it looks like, but make sure you do have a large pan. Um, this would not be a Giroudi family you know, YouTube video if there wasn't a little hiccup with the different pot, um, but thankfully this is so easy. If you do add something smaller, you can carefully transfer it pretty easily. I didn't make a mess even with the tomato sauce over to a right size pot, but um, this guy is perfect. And I will put the pot size that we used for this recipe in there, just so you don't mess up. Um, you know, sometimes we all make mistakes, right? It's part of, part of cooking in life, um, but thankfully it wasn't a big one. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. It's our delicious stuffed pepper soup. You guys are gonna love this one. It freezes great, and especially with Thanksgiving upon us, um, you may not feel like cooking much after. This is just a great quick recipe to have, or even to make ahead and freeze to enjoy later. Make sure you head down below to get the recipe. It's also on our website with a free printable PDF. There's grams included and in all of the measurements. You're gonna wanna check that out. And we also have our December cookie class Whole Food Plant Based SOS Free Cookies um, coming up in our membership. And so all the information for that is down below as well. All of our members are gonna make a delicious holiday cookie class with us. We're gonna make a ton of recipes, we dress up, it's so fun. So I'd love to have you join or if you'd like more information on that, you can always um, check out that below. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And leave us a comment. Let us know how your family enjoyed this one. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.